WNAM-TV, based at a Saginaw plant. Today, 16 players are here trying to win $50,000. Every one of them holds a different riddle, but only one of them holds the jackpot riddle. You never know when someone in the game will stand up and yell, Jackpot! Ladies and gentlemen, here's the star of our show, Jack Edwards. Sanders, a writer from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Rich, how you doing? Fine, thank you. All set to go today? I sure am. Okay, wish you good luck. As you know, those 15 players are out to beat you and out to beat each other as you all compete for up to $50,000 for today and for the rest of this week. Now, each one of those players holds a different riddle. Every time you solve a riddle, we'll increase the money in the jackpot. There's no limit to how high it can go. But to get all that money, you have to find the one player who holds the jackpot riddle. I don't know who the player is. You don't know who the player is. Even the player who's holding it doesn't know because all the riddles are sealed. One more thing before we start. Let's take a look over your left shoulder there, Rich, at our super jackpot board. A target number yesterday came up at random, a 680. A uh, random multiplier of 10 gave us a super jackpot of $6,800. And that means whenever anybody wins the jackpot whose last three digits match our target number, they will have a super jackpot of $6,800. All set, Rich? Okay. You have, uh, let's see, yesterday you called on a couple people, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Or did you just get up there? I don't know. I called on about one. All right. You're looking for somebody with a <laughs> jackpot riddle. Let's see how you do. Okay. Today I want to try with nine. Number nine? Oh, that's I read. I'm worth $25. Okay. This is my <laughs> clue. You're never happy unless you're worth over $100, are you? <laughs> okay, I'll I think I am. In a Chinese restaurant, we pick up everything but the check. What are we? Chopsticks. Chopsticks is right. Good. <laughs> That's enough. Go ahead. Number 10. Number 10. Joni, pops up. Oh, I'm worth $125. Okay, Joni, we'll put that in the jackpot. This is my clue. I'm your major D in the Arctic Circle. What am I? I'm your major D in the Arctic Circle. What am I? A penguin. A penguin, right, dressed like the major D. Sure. <laughs> Eleven players left. One of them has the jackpot riddle, and all of them trying to stump you, Rich. Go ahead. Let's we'll try Leslie. Number five. Number five. Okay, Les. Okay, I'm worth $135. That goes into the jackpot. And this is my clue. I'm the voice of a secret. What am I? Oh, that's a toughie. I'm the voice of a secret. What am I? You got me. When you tell a secret, what do you do? Whisper. Whisper. That was the answer. You didn't get it. Too bad. That brings Les up here again into the experts' slot. Now, Les, you take over. Jackpot is almost $1,000 now. What do you do for a living, Les? I'm a bartender. A bartender? Uh -huh. Did people tell you their troubles? Uh, sure. A lot of times. Listen, Les, if I was wife... Really? What's wrong? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, well, I'll tell you later after okay. the show. Okay. $995 in the jackpot. Look at that person with jackpot riddle. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, number 13. Number 13. Maybe Nina's lucky this time. Oh, here we go. Let's see. No, I'm worth $75. $75 into the jackpot. Puts us over 1000 And this is my clue. My horses travel to music, and they never have to be fed. What am I? My horses travel to music. They never have to be fed. What am I? Oh, I don't know. Audience, what a, a merry-go-round. They all knew less. Come on down and come on up here. Happy to eat it. Well, Nina gets up there and remind all of you that at least once a week, and usually more often than that, as we've seen this week on uh, Jackpot, one of you is holding the Super Jackpot riddle. Look for it, because when you yell Super Jackpot, the expert will try to solve just one riddle for all the money in the Super Jackpot. A correct answer, and the two of you could win up to $50,000. In this game, the Super Jackpot is worth $6,800. Our Jackpot is $1,070. And Nita, I know you'd like a piece of that, wouldn't you? I sure would. Good luck. Number four. Number four. Michael. 
Okay. Oh, Michael wants to get back in the chair too. Seventy dollars into the jackpot. This is my clue. I line up a room in various shades. What am I? A lamp. A lamp. Good for you. Number seven. Number seven? Are you lucky seven? Jack oh! Uh, <laughs> he won the seven and the jackpot. <laughs> okay, this is great. Bobby, you've already split the jackpot uh, here on the show. Anita, uh, this is what's going to happen. You can ask for the jackpot riddle, solve it, and you and Bobby will split a jackpot of $1,140, or you can ask her to sit down, call on other players, and try to build that jackpot up. What are you going to do? I'll take it. You'll take it. Okay. <laughs> I'll repeat the riddle after you read it, Bobby. I can identify your property to the letter, and I do it by design. What am I? I'll repeat it, then you'll have five seconds to answer. I can identify your property to the letter, and I do it by design. What am I? A surveyor? No, you got trapped on property. It's a monogram. Identifies your property by design. It's a monogram. Sorry. Come on up here, Bobby. You get another shot at this jackpot and need it too bad. Well, Bobby, this is about the third or fourth time you've been up here in the expert chair. You've done very, very well. We're going to see how well you do after we have this time out for a commercial message. Six, three, or one. That's the question when you catch a cold. It takes six cold tablets, two every four hours, or three ounces of nighttime liquid, one every four hours, or just one contact. For up to 12 hours, continuous relief from just your sneezing, runny nose, and congestion. You should know these contain an antipyretic analgesic, the liquid, antitussive, and alcohol not found in contact. Six, or three, or one. Give your cold to contact. Let's say we cut our walk short tonight. Are you all right? I don't know. I think maybe I'm constipated. I know just what you need. Carter's Little Pills, the laxative that helps relieve temporary irregularity. Effective because they work only in the lower intestine, where Carter's special coating dissolves to release a doctor's formula of natural ingredients. Dear, this is supposed to be a walk, not a race. Come on. Carter's. Well, tomorrow's going to be a big day because all 16 players in Jackpot have been competing all week. And tomorrow, the player who has solved the most riddles is going to receive this fabulous bonus. It's the 1974 Vega Hatchback Coupe, the little economy car built in America by Chevrolet, including turbo hydromatic transmission, radio and power steering, the Vega by Chevrolet. In case of a tie, the player who wins the most money will receive the car. And back to you, Jeff. Okay, now we'll start a whole new game for Bobby. We'll get our new uh, target number and a new jackpot that could go as high as $50,000. We'll see what turns up this time. This time, the target number is $725. Now we'll multiply that by a random number between 5 and 50. This time it's multiplied by 40. Hey, that's good. That means if any player wins a jackpot of exactly $725, it'll be multiplied by 40 for a super jackpot worth... $29,000. And any one of you could win that super jackpot by answering just one riddle. If the super jackpot riddle turns up, answer that one riddle, and you'll get the super jackpot of $29,000. Good luck, Bobby. I'm going to try number two. Number two. Well, this is Every time. John from Atlanta. John... This like? question is worth $70. Okay. <clears throat> and this is my clue. <laughs> I play the ukulele and tiptoe all the way to the bank. <laughs> Who am I? I? I play the ukulele and tiptoe all the way to the bank. Who am I? You're Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, for people that just tuned in, this row has named themselves the Dump Four. I didn't name them that. They named themselves that. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Bobby. Number six. Number six. Okay, Electra pops up again. Okay, I'm worth $60. $60 into the jackpot. Boy, it's a good jackpot. I'll give you a fit, but I'll keep you in stitches. What <laughs> am I? <laughs> I'll give you a fit, but I'll keep you in stitches. What am I? I'm a seamstress. Yes, a seamstress. Dress maybe that's fine. <laughs> oh, boy, you know... 
this group can sense something and they really want to get in that expert position, Bobby, so watch out for them. Go ahead. Number four. Number four. Michael, maybe you'll get another shot at it here. Okay. This time I'm worth $65. $65 into the jackpot over $1,300 now. Okay. This is my clue. The last race taught me that chariot begins at home. Who am I? The last race taught me that chariot begins at home. Who am I? Ben Hur? Yes. <laughs> Looking for that jackpot riddle, Bobby. Number 12. Number 12. Tom. Okay, I'm worth $90. $90 was into the jackpot. And this is my clue. I usually wind up on your fork. What am I? Oh, being Italian spaghetti. Hey, take off the reach. That's right. Okay, there's six, nine, ten, eleven players. One of them has that jackpot riddle. That's what you're looking for. Number nine. Number nine. Could that be the jackpot riddle? No. <laughs> How much are you? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Oh, Irene. Well, there you are. <laughs> there are times when I really get teed off. Eighteen times a day. What am I? A golf ball. A golf ball. Right. Sure. <laughs> hey, you're doing great, Bobby. You really are. Hang in there now, because you're getting closer and closer to that target number. Number seven. Number seven. Maybe lucky seven. Nita? The jackpot! Oh, yes, jackpot again. <laughs> now, Bobby has been in this position before. <laughs> Last time you were in this position, you blew it, didn't you? I hope it doesn't happen to you this time. You can ask Nita to read the jackpot riddle. Get it correct. You and Nita will split a jackpot of $1,475. If you want to keep trying to build it up, Ask her to sit down and call on the other players, remembering you do so at your own risk. Let's try it now. You're going for it now. Okay, Nita. You read the riddle, I'll repeat it, then you'll have five seconds to answer, Bobby. Good luck. I'm only a fly by night, but I could get into your hair. What am I? I'm only a fly by night, but I could get into your hair. What am I? Is it a bat? Yes! <laughs> $475. Now, let me tell you, you had your option, of course, of trying to build up the jackpot. If you had decided that you wanted to try and build up the jackpot and had called a number 14 stand-up Chia, Chia had the super jackpot riddle. And you would have had, if you had answered it, $29,000. You didn't go that way, though. You went your way, and your way was a fine way, and I hope that you'll stay our way for just a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning, Mary. Hi, Sue. How's the family? All fine, thanks. Except my husband. Bill? Nothing serious. He knows he needs a laxative, but he doesn't like the taste. No problem. Look, X-Lax pills. No taste. X-Lax pills? Good idea. But do they work? Oh, they work just fine. Because they contain a medically proven effective ingredient. Gentle? Gentle. You'll see. X-Lax pills. He'll like the change. Everybody needs help now and then. The Genie Portable Sewing Machine is now on sale for one week only. At Singer, it's $149. You save over $20. The Genie's got upfront controls. Singer's exclusive front drop-in bobbin. It even does heavy-duty sewing. Big machine performance in a compact portable. The Genie Portable Sewing Machine. From Singer, now only $149. Hurry, the sale ends Saturday. Bobby, you've done pretty good. You split, the, is that your second jackpot you split? Yeah. Second jackpot. Boy, what a week this has been for you. And who knows what could happen to you now. You might get another shot at the super jackpot. Let's get a super jackpot for you. We'll start off with the target number. Remember, the super jackpot could go as high as $50,000. This time, the target number for this game is $850. All right, let's see what we'll multiply it by. It's going to be a random number between 5 and 50. It is... Fifteen, And that means if any player wins a jackpot of exactly $850, it'll be multiplied by 15 for a super jackpot worth $12,750. I 
can see dollar signs dancing in your eyes, Bobby. Okay, group, let's get the red wallets. We'll play with the red wallets this time. See if you can stump Bobby. And go ahead, Bobby. Build up that jackpot. Number nine. Number nine. Bobby likes number nine. Seventy dollars. Oh, Irene, someday you'll be worth over a hundred. Go ahead. Right. I gather no more because I'm really a rolling stone. Who am I? I gather no moss because I'm really a rolling stone. Who am I? Mick Jagger? Right. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, 11. 11. Oh, well, I wonder what Lori has this time. I'm worth $85. $85, Lori. And this is my clue. I made a pile playing <coughs> Gomer. Who am I? I made a pile playing Gomer. Who am I? Jim Neighbor. Right. I didn't think you were going to pull that one out. <laughs> Number three. Number three. I almost forgot. <laughs> Jeff, one of the dumb fours with us again. <laughs> How are this time worth more money and worth $110? Good. $110 goes into the jackpot. If Julius really was my ancestor, he would have had some show of shows. Who am I? If Julius really was my ancestor, he really would have had some show of shows. Who am I? No, just one of my favorite people, Sid Caesar. Sid Caesar. One of the dumb four is going to be in the experts chair. Oh, blow it. Okay, Karen. We, we really haven't had too much chance to talk to you. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm what they call a flight attendant. In fact, I prefer to call it a stewardess. A stewardess. Well, it's nice to have you here, and I'll check in for some coffee, tea, or whatever after the show. Okay, we have $265 in the show. <laughs> We have $265 in the jackpot. Our target number is 850 And there they are, waiting to stump you. See if you can stay there. Try number five. Number five. Okay, this is for $90. $90 into the jackpot. This may be hard for you to swallow, but the doctor is taking both of us out. What are we? Tonsils. Tonsils. Good, Karen. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, well, it's a big decision. Number four. Number four. She's going for the front row. Michael, what do you have? $95. $95 into the jackpot. And this is my clue. I hadn't seen my grandmother in a long time, and big eyes and big teeth run in the family, so I was really fooled. Who am I? Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood is right. Good. Hey, you're doing a front row proud, Karen. Go ahead. Maybe I ought to stick with a dumb four, huh? <laughs> Number one. Number one. She's going for Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, what do you have? Well, I'm worth $145. Hey, that's built the jackpot up nicely. Jackpot now is worth $595. Go ahead. When the light goes out in my place, things start to develop, and that's the whole picture. What am I? Dark room. Dark room. Good for you. <laughs> You're not so dumb after all. <laughs> okay, Karen. There's eight, nine players left. One of them has that jackpot riddle. The sooner you find it, the better off you're going to be. Number ten. Number ten. You have that jackpot riddle this time, Johnny? Yes, I do! Hey, good for you! <laughs> Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> All right, Joan has the jackpot riddle. Karen, you can ask for it now. Solve it, and you and Joe will split a jackpot of $595. Or you can ask her to sit down. You have the option to keep building the jackpot up, trying to get closer to the target number of 850 or just more money in the jackpot. You do it at your risk. I'll go ahead and try it. You're going right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a toy. Okay. Here we go. Joe, you read the riddle. I'll repeat it. And Karen, you try to solve it. Here's my clue. Heaven knows. It took me a lifetime to get my wings. What am I? Heaven knows. It took me a lifetime to get my wings. What am I? An angel. An angel is right. It's such a jackpot. $595. This is Julia Mead in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, with the William Peluso family. They are concerned about the energy crisis, too. We're turning the thermostat down, not using as much electricity. And I'm washing in cold water with cold power. I've done so much washing with cold power, I'm really convinced clothes come out clean and bright without fading. Not using hot water cuts fuel costs, too. 
Wash with cold power, the detergent specially formulated to get your clothes really clean in cold water. New and direct from London, award-winning composer-conductor Bert Bacharach headlines his own special with guest stars Sandy Duncan and Jack Jones. It's marvelous. You should care for me. Roger Moore and Roger Moore. And the Harlem Globetrotters in a very different spotlight. See the Bert Bacharach special from London tonight at 10, 9 Central Time on NBC. Some of our contestants will receive rice aroni, the side dish that's quick and easy, the one you saute and simmer, the flavor perfection, rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. We'll return with more of Jack Bob after this word of interest. Can I describe Jennifer's looks in just one word? That's easy. Healthy looking. Well, you can't look healthy without healthy looking skin, so I do try to keep mine that way. And basics like lots of soap and water help. I use ivory soap. Ivory natural soap. Simple, basic soap. It cleans gently, and that's important for healthy looking skin. I, I guess you could say that helping skin stay healthy looking is really what ivory's all about. Shouldn't you get down to basics with ivory? Mrs. Bartouche is skeptical about those spick and span demonstrations. You've watched the spick and span demonstration on television, but you're still skeptical? Yes. I'll pour in the spick and span, and I want you to pour in your ultra liquid cleaner. Go back and forth on this greasy kitchen dirt we built up, and then tell me what you see. It's working better than what? You prove your point, it works. What works? Spick and span. You were the skeptic. I had to see it to believe it. The commercial's right. I'll buy spick and span. All right, Karen, you were split yourself, the jackpot finally got out of their front row. Now let's see how well you do. We're going to get you a whole brand new target number and super jackpot. The super jackpot could go as high as $50,000. Let's see what our target number first is for this game. Our target number, wow, 995 is the target number. Now we'll see what it's multiplied by. It can be any number between 5 and 50. It's a random number. This time it's multiplied by 30. That means if any player wins a jackpot of exactly $995, it will be multiplied by 30 for a super jackpot worth $29,850. You know about the target number, but let me remind you that at least once a week, and many times more uh, than that, a super jackpot riddle may pop up. If it does, you only have to answer one riddle, you get it right, and you get the super jackpot, which in this case is $29,850. Okay, Karen, good luck to you. I'm going to call in number two. Number two is still sticking with John and <laughs> <You're wrong. laughs> <clears throat> I'm worth $70. Maybe you can stop it this time, John. That'll show her. And this is my clue. I'm the uncle who came to your house every Tuesday on TV. Who am I? I'm the uncle who came... I'm sorry, I heard that I all the way over here, and uh, we have to disqualify that riddle. John, you still stay there. I have an emergency riddle right oh, here, and I will ask the riddle of, uh, of Karen. Here's the emergency riddle, and please don't call out the answers, because indeed they could be wrong and throw our contestant off. All right, I'm your all-American relative. Who am I? Uh, Carol O'Connor on... Um, no, no, oh, Uncle Sam. Oh, One way or the other, John, you got up here. <laughs> There's another member of the front four got up here. Hey, we're winning. Okay, John. Uh, Go ahead. Seems like a long time. Ah, uh, number six. Number six. Let's see what Electra has for us this time. I'm worth $130. $130. That goes in the jackpot. Yes. And this is my clue. In my game, your hand can show in your face. What am I? In my game, your hand can show in your face. What am I? Uh, bridge. No. Uh, poker. Poker. You've heard of the oh. poker face, the hand control in your face. Well, John, you didn't stay up here very long. It was nice, nice seeing you while you were here. John did, however, move out of the front row, as you see. Okay. Oh, Electra. Hi. Can see you up here? Call a number. Let's see if you can build okay, a Okay, uh, number 11. Number 11. $200 in the jackpot. 
target number is 995. You can get the jackpot riddle now and try to solve it. You and Lori, I can tell by her face, she doesn't want you to do that yet. No. You and Lori will split $200 and try to build it up. I think I'll wait. I'll code. Going to try and build it up. Yeah. All right, sit down, Lori. Remember, you do it at your risk. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, number 12. 12. How much you worth, Tom? I'm worth 65 bucks. We'll put it in the jackpot. Go ahead. Well, bless your pea-picking little hearts. Who am I? Well, bless your pea-picking little hearts. Who am I? Oh, Electra. Oh, it was Ernie Ford. That's what he used to say all the time. And that means you knew where the jackpot riddle is. You took a chance. It didn't work out for you. Tom comes down here. And while they're changing places, we'll ask you to watch this. For breakfast? I'm a sugar donut freak. You're a student first. For you, a nutritious breakfast. Oh, nutrition's okay, as long as it tastes good. The swipe wrap breakfast squares. They're new. Two breakfast squares are a complete light meal with as much food energy, basic vitamins, and basic minerals as this bacon and egg breakfast. Even as much protein. Nefty in chocolate, butter pecan, chocolate malt, and cinnamon flavors. Powerful little goodies. Breakfast squares. <laughs> Today, tuna salad, a la Ruth. Uh, give me a, a tuna sandwich on whole wheat. Good old tuna. But why does it always have to be cold? Now serve tuna hot with four tuna helper main dish mixes. Add a can of tuna to this one and give your family a delicious main dish of tuna, egg noodles, peas, and carrots in a tasty white sauce. Oh, God, please. I thought mm -hmm. you'd say that. Tuna helper, four easy ways to do something delicious with tuna. Some of our contestants will receive a Swiss Miss Cocoa Break delicious toffee, mocha, cinnamon, malt, and chocolate flavored instant mixes. You just add hot water, plus Bissell Gemini, sweeps all floor surfaces, tile, wood, carpets, brick, perfect for quick pickups between vacuum cleanings, the Bissell Gemini all-floor sweeper. We'll return with more of Jackpot after this word of interest. In the TV5 area this week, there will be a preschool story hours offered at both Bay City Public Libraries on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. There will be a limit of 20 children per each six-week session. Call 893-9566 for pre-registration and for further information. Starting this month, four authorities on art history will participate in the Founder Society Lecture Series Against the Stream, women artists from the year 1600 to the present day. Call Flint Institute of Arts for details. Hey, Mrs. Belmont, can Stanley come out to play? Lots of luck. Now on Fridays at 8 30, 7 30 Central Time, an old friend helps welcome the Belmonts to their new night in time. Remember, Sanford and Son, followed by Lots of Luck, then The Girl with Something Extra, Friday night on NBC. The time you take over as our expert.